Good day to everyone. I am Dr. Dharma Sena, one of the acute and internal medical consultants working in the United Kingdom. As usual, I came to my coffee break today as well, and I am going to discuss about the symptoms of COVID-19 uh, according to the latest uh, findings uh, and uh, classification by King's College Hospital London. As you know, the scientists and uh, doctors are daily getting uh, updated and uh, finding new things about this COVID-19 virus. Now, they have officially categorized three symptoms as official symptoms of COVID-19. Out of them, the commonest and the first symptom is persisting dry cough. Most of the COVID-19 patients do experience persisting dry cough and it comes in bouts and bouts. Sometimes the cough bouts can persist even for hours and hours and some patients can get these bouts about two, three times within 24 hours. So as the first official symptom of COVID-19, persistent dry cough is recognized and uh, that is categorized. If you have a persistent cough for a long time as a chronic, chronic cough, and if that chronic cough get worse, this also can consider as a sign of uh, COVID-19. The second commonest sign and the second official sign is categorized as high fever. High fever is also a common sign of COVID-19 and it doesn't mean that COVID-19 patients should have fever throughout their course of uh, illness. Sometimes it can start initially and disappear within about one or two days and sometimes it can appear in the middle of the course of the disease. So it doesn't need to be persistently throughout the course of illness. And the third official symptom of COVID-19 is the loss of sense of taste and smell. 55% patients of COVID-19 do experience this uh, loss of taste and sense of smell. As you know, even with common cold, one can have these symptoms. But the etiological factor or the origin of the uh, cause of this loss of sense of smell and taste is due to neurological involvement. In simple words, the nerves are involved in COVID-19 patients to cause this loss of taste and uh, smell. But in common cold, when you get the blockage of these sinuses in the nasal cavity or in the skull uh, bone in the front part of the face, people can experience loss of smell, but that is not due to the involvement of the nerves. So the difference here is the involvement of the neurological system and the nerves uh, relevant to these uh, senses. So these th three things are categorized as the three official symptoms of COVID-19. But these official symptoms are more commonly exhibited in the age group of 18 to 55, 65 in the age group of 18 to 65. So uh, other age groups may not exhibit them as the cardinal signs of this illness. Let's discuss about the other signs and symptoms of COVID-19. So next commonest is regarded as headache. About 82% of COVID-19 patients do experience headache and headache is listed as one of the COVID-19 symptoms by the American for the first time. So COVID-19 patients commonly experience headache. Another symptom is 
uh, unusual fatigue. COVID-19 patients do experience very unusual fatigue throughout their course of illness and some may per persistently experience the fatigueness even after getting cured from the illness for about one month. This is also one of the commonest causes and uh, commonest uh, symptoms. About 72% do experience this unusual fatigueness. And, uh, Next one is sore throat. The soreness of the throat is also commonly experienced uh, by the COVID-19 patients and 91% of them do initially experience uh, sore throat in their course of illness. Myalgia, that means muscle pain, 50% of them do experience muscle pains and a very severe myalgia is uh, experienced uh, by the COVID-19 patient, COVID patients. COVID-19 can present just only with diarrhea. Diarrhea, nausea, vomiting and uh, as a result they can go into kidney failure as well. So by looking at all these symptoms you can think that m many of them do uh, present with either respiratory symptoms or gastrointestinal symptoms. The reason for this is very clear because these COVID-19 viruses can get into the body through a special receptors called angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptors. So these receptors are very common in the respiratory system and even in the digestive system. So that is the reason that they come with, uh, they present with uh, symptoms involved these systems. Shortness of breath or breathlessness, that is also a common symptom of uh, COVID-19. And this is one of the uh, dangerous symptoms because uh, they go to the ITUs and uh, there are many occasions that they may need intubation and artificial ventilation due to shortness of breathness. The COVID patient's lung become like soaked sponge, a sponge soaked with water. So the gas exchange in the lung is defected and they get persistent uh, breathlessness. COVID patients can present with skin rashes, just like urticaria or uh, itchy rashes. And there's no particular identified type of rash, but they can present with skin rashes. And also they can present with alteration of the color of the fingers and the toes, fingers or toes, fingers and the toes. Uh, some sort of bluish discoloration which is recognized as corona toes or corona fingers and also they may present only with loss of appetite loss of appetite is also one of the symptoms of COVID-19 there are occasions where we identified patients only with persistent loss of appetite and they tested for COVID-19 and uh, became positive. So this is also a, a symptom of COVID-19. And then there is another problem with the COVID-19 patients and they can become delirious. They can experience hallucinations and they can become delirious and uh, they may forget things and behave differently when they when they are get infected with uh, COVID-19. And if a patient complain of chest pain and uh, unusual chest pain, that is also could be that also could be a sign of uh, COVID-19 because many patients do experience blood clots in the lungs and blood clots in the heart, uh, major heart uh, uh, 
blood supplying arteries so they can end up with pulmonary embolisms or heart attacks so blood clots is also a common presentation in covid-19 so if someone complains of chest pain we have to be very careful and uh, hoarseness of voice is also a symptom of covid-19 so patients can present with hoarseness of voice and uh, abdominal pain or the tummy pain that is also because these these receptors are more in this uh, uh, intestinal system and uh, as you know with the common cold and all people present with conjunctivitis the redness of the eyes even in covid-19 patient can present with redness of the eyes what we call conjunctivitis and that could be the only symptom of uh, covid-19 for that patient also recently recognized that there could be some sort of a specific changes in the tongue and they used to call it covid corona tongue but that is not exactly recognized uh, and specified in a special way but it is also getting added to the symptoms of covid-19 the strange thing is you can see covid patients you can find covid patients 80% without one or two of these small signs or symptoms or without any symptoms so a covid-19 patient can present without any of these symptoms and the patient could be positive so we have to understand that uh covid-19 is uh sim is a illness which has a vast uh, scope of signs and symptoms and even asymptomatic patients are common i think you had an idea about the symptoms now and uh, these things are improved daily and things are getting added day by day so it is better to be updated uh, and uh, find out the latest uh, updates about covid-19 thank you so much